morning students today we are going to study the new chapter chapter number 2 reproduction in plants you all are familiar with this term reproduction you have been studying about reproduction in your lower classes also reproduction is the process of giving rise to new individual organisms from their parent the new organisms produced are not exactly same but somewhat similar to their parents for any organism there is a need of reproduction otherwise there will be no more of that species and the species will die off if they don't reproduce the young ones we have heard of the endangered animals and plants these endangered species have very few individuals left due to climatic changes or over hunting therefore the scientists or the naturalists are working together to make sure that the species do not become extinct there are two basic modes of reproduction in plants one is asexual reproduction and the next is sexual reproduction in sexual reproduction both the female and the male gametes are involved in asexual reproduction there is no involvement of gametes sexual reproduction is common in flowering plants whereas most of the lower plants reproduce asexually asexual reproduction it is the simplest method of reproduction that takes place in organisms whose bodies have a simple structure it is quite common in the plants there are different types of asexual reproductions in plants which are as follows binary fission budding fragmentation spore formation regeneration and vegetative propagation vegetative propagation can be by the means of roots underground stems leaves and tissue culture so we are going to study in detail about these different type of binary fission as the word indicates binary means two and fission means division so binary fission is the division of the parent body into two halves to produce daughter cells in this type of asexual reproduction first the nucleus elongates and divides into two then the cytoplasm splits across the middle and forms two daughter cells each daughter cell grows as a separate individual this is the most primitive type of asexual reproduction which is found in bacteria fungi and algae sometimes some organism form a cyst around itself in unfavorable condition and continuously multiply inside the cyst when the condition become favorable the cyst opens and releases numerous daughter cells which develop into new organism such type of asexual reproduction is called multiple fission example chlamydomonas the binary fission in bacteria in the bacteria the nucleus starts dividing first and the constriction is produced between the nucleus it elongates and it divides into two parts along with the nucleus the constriction start among the cytoplasm also and slowly the cell divides across the middle by forming the constriction and the two daughter cells are produced the next type of asexual reproduction the budding in budding an outgrowth called bud arises from the surface of the parent body the bud grows bigger with the accumulation of cytoplasm and nucleus also divides and passes on to each end the bud the bud ultimately gets cut off from the parent body and leads an individual life the budding may be repeated resulting in one or more chains for example yeast so 
as you can see in the figure this is a cell of yeast in which a vacuole and a nucleus is present the bud develops on the parent and the nucleus starts dividing a part of the nucleus and vacuole moves into the bud the new cell is formed from the bud before the bud breaks off the new cell gets detached from the parent cell or remains attached to give a chain form next method of asexual reproduction is fragmentation in this type of asexual reproduction the filamentous body of lower plants like spirogyra breaks up into two or more fragments each fragment grows into the new individual next asexual reproduction is spore formation the organisms like bacteria fungi mushroom reprodu reproduce asexually by spore formation the spore formation in bread mold molds are a type of fungus that reproduce asexually by the process of spore formation each spore contains their nuclear material and a small mass of cytoplasm enclosed within a tough outer wall called spore sac or sporangium they can resist the unfavorable conditions when the sporangium is mature and finds the suitable environment it bursts releasing the spores each spore germinates and give rise to a new mold the spores are carried along with the air and eventually they land elsewhere thank you